this is a nice guitar. Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me on this latest episode of Pedal Pocalypse. Pedal Pocalypse. Pedal Pocalypse. Okay. The concept of the show is if you were stuck in a, in one location because of a, of the apocalypse, which we kind of I'm wearing a mask right now. What three pedals would you take with you into into your bunker? I guess, but. Today's show is a little different because if we look at your pedal board. Yes, uh, my, my pedal board right now is this carpet and my shoes. And um, what I use for pedals is my vintage Mesa Boogie Mark IV that I bought many years ago. I just don't see any need for pedals. But I have this theory that if you get a kick-ass amplifier why would you put it through a hundred dollar pedal? Uh, have you ever used a pedal? When I started playing in bars in the, in the middle to late sixties, pedals didn't exist. Now I was playing at the time through a Fender Super Reverb, which I still have out in my garage. And um, I wanted to get a little more out of it. And at that time, a pedal came out. It was by Electra Harmonex. It was called an LPV-1, and it was just a, a gain boost. And it plugged right into the input on your amp, and then you, you know, it stuck out from the front of the amp. Uh -huh. It was very elemental and kind of primitive, but I would plug that into the Super. I would turn the volume down on the Super and just run the LPV-1 mm -hmm. cranked. And um, it, it was great for playing in clubs. When I discovered Mesa Boogies while I was with John Mayall, I realized that basically it's, it's a Fender that's been very souped up and modified and, and the overdrive is built into the amp. You know? So during a show, are you are you switching things on the amp or are you controlling things with your I control guitar? it all with the volume button. Right. Um, I, I have the amp set on channel three, which is the high gain channel. Mm -hmm. I have the gain all the way up and I'm controlling the cleanliness and the whole thing with the volume on the guitar. And I play all the time with my pinky wrapped around the volume button. <laughs> Check this out. I think uh, on the evidence uh, provided today that it's w without the need for pedals, I think you're most likely to survive the pedal apocalypse. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, if I had an award, I think you would win the pedal apocalypse award. Oh, well, for that thank very you. Reason. Um, in fact, I, I'm going to designate you the first winner of the pedal apocalypse award for your outstanding pedal board. And I would like to thank the Academy. And I'd like to say it's been an honor, um, you know, being part of Pedal Apocalypse and winning the Pedal Apocalypse Award of the Year. Thank you very much. That is me, a guitar 
a Mesa boogie amp, turn the amp up, let's rock.